This is my new tarp that I just finished. This is uh, made from the Xenon uh, 0.9 ounce Xenon from uh, Dutch from his Make Your Gear website. I uh, picked this up actually. This is his uh, winter tarp kit that he sells. Um, I already had a winter tarp. I've got a Superfly that I would call my winter tarp. And so I decided to just to go ahead and buy the kit. And there wasn't that much difference in the cost of that and buying the fabric. And then I could decide exactly what I wanted to do once I got it. But um, uh, I decided to go with a tarp with outdoors and save the extra material for you know some stuff sacks or something like that. So this is what I've got. It's a, I think it's a dark olive xenon 0.9 uh, tarp. I did cat cuts on the bottom and the uh, ends. It is 12 feet or maybe 11 foot 10 inches maybe. Just under 12 feet on the ridge line and approximately 10 feet across. Uh, so it's a, it's a 12 by 10 is the size. I uh, haven't seam sealed it yet. I'm going to do that here in just a minute. But I did a flat fell seam or French seam or whatever you call it for the ridge line. Uh, a little bit of webbing and a D-ring there for the tie it on the end. It's hard to tell, but I used the uh, the Xenon 5300, I think, for the uh, reinforcement here on the end. The, the triangles I cut were pretty small, so it's kind of hard to see, but they're there. They're just really small. I was a little concerned with that, but I think I think it's going to hold. Uh, we'll see if it ends up being a problem down the road. I guess I can make another tarp, but um, rolled him around the edges. Uh, I used the gross gain and... Uh, little d-rings that comes in the kit for the tie outs on the corners same thing with the 5300 for the uh, reinforcement there a small triangle for that uh, right now I've got some lash it with some uh, exercise band for a tarp tensioner there built into it I don't know if I'll leave that or not but that's just what I had I did the same thing on on all four corners I've just got a piece of paracord up here with some prussics to hold it up for now just so I can seam seal it. Uh, I'll put some zing it or something for a ridge line when I get a chance, but uh, that's just what I threw up there now. So I'm gonna show you real quick uh, how I seam seal a tarp. Uh, and then I'm probably gonna leave this up for a day or two and probably hit it with some water after the seam seal dries and just see how, how it handles water, make sure it doesn't leak or anything. But that's it right now, I'll give you some uh, specs once I get it seam sealed on the weight and stuff but um, before I seam sealed it uh, I did weigh it I stuffed it in this uh, this is one of the little small dry sacks you get from Walmart so certainly not the lightest weight stuff sack but I put it in there with the four corner tie outs uh, and no um, ridge line and it was 12 out 12.6 ounces in that sack so that's the sack plus the tarp plus the corner tie outs 12.6 ounces which is nice I think pretty light but now that is without the seam seal so that'll add a little bit when I do the put the silicone on there but that's what it looks like for now so I just wanted to show that to you and then I'm going to get to seam seal and I'll show right, you how to so do that. I like to so use right this flowable Permatex uh, windshield and glass sealant it's a little thinner than the seal net or other things. I've used this before on another tarp and it worked out good. I've also used the seal net, it works fine too. But I can pick this up local at the auto parts store. So this is what I'm gonna to use to seal the uh, ridge line. Is this Permatex flowable silicone. So I just uh, kinda ease a little bead down the, the ridge here. I don't know if you can see that. And then I'll spread it with a, with a brush and try to get on both sides of the of the ridge line here 
don't know if you can see that very well, but but I just kind of I put some put some gloves on. I don't know if I may end up ditching the brush here and and just spreading it with my fingers, but uh, I'm gonna start out with the brush and just work my way down the ridge around down the seam and uh, and spread it as I go. And just kind of work it into the stitching. Make sure it would fill in any holes that might be left from the sewing along the ridge line. And that's pretty much the process. Uh, just kind of work, work my way down the ridge line. So I'm gonna do that for a little bit and I'll come back and check in back with you in just a few minutes. All right, I think I got it sealed all the way along. As you can see there, I just spread that seam sealer all along the ridge. I ended up just using my fingers to spread it. The brush was getting a little aggravating. Just made sure I kind of got it worked in there where all the, the stitching is. And uh, I think a spot there looked like it might be a little thin, so I have to, have to come. I have to come back and look at that. But um, sealed it all the way along, both sides. I had a couple of spots here that, where I dripped it on the tarp. Try to get that off as best I can. And I don't guess it really hurts it, but not to leave. I don't know if you can see, I had a couple of spots where, where I dripped it, but it'll be all right. So seam, seam sealed it all the way down to the end here, all the way along both sides. So that's the deal. It's not the prettiest job in the world, but uh, I think it'll hopefully get the job done. So I'm gonna leave this up. Probably gonna leave it up all night. It's not supposed to rain tonight. But I'm probably going to leave it up and let it cure good all night. And then uh, tomorrow, I'll probably get the hose out and uh, run a, a water test on it and see how it does. Again, this is the Xenon material. This is the .9 from uh, Dutch. Uh, I've used, uh, I used uh, that Argon material that he did a year or so ago. And I've got a tarp out of that. I actually made two tarps out of it. I sold one of them. Uh, but I kept the other one. Uh, it's a lot softer, I guess you could say, than this, and probably lighter feeling. But it's uh, it's a little more stretchy. This is not as stretchy, and uh, I think it's going to be nice. I'm going to see how it performs in the water uh, with a little rain test tomorrow or sprinkler test, I guess, and see how that does. But uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it's big enough for a good rain shower. Uh, I've got a Warbonnet uh, Blackbird XLC that I use. So this is a 12 foot. It's an, I've got the XLC, which is 11 foot uh, hammock, so it'll fit good up under this tarp. Um, my son's got a Skeeter beater that he uses, and so he can use this tarp sometimes as well. Whenever uh, we go together, or I, like I said, I got a Superfly that works well. This also. So that's what I, I got, that's my new tarp. Uh, if you got any questions about the Xenon material or uh, how I made this or anything like that, be sure to post them in the comments uh, and I'll do my best to, to help answer, answer them. So, uh, you know, making a tarp's not as bad as you think. I've done, this is probably my fourth one or fifth one. Uh, every time I do it, I tell myself when I finish that I'm gonna take my time and make my stitches a little bit cleaner but then I get in a hurry towards the end and I want to finish and so I end up rushing it and they're not terribly bad but they're not as clean as I would like but they certainly get the job done so all right the tarp's been up so far they have all ones. night uh, probably going on about 24 hours now <laughs> All the uh, seam seals dry now. 
and it's been sitting like this all night and no sag or stretch or anything like that of course it was it was dry all night no rain so now i'm going to run the uh, sprinkler on it for a little while and let's see if we get any leaks so you guys can see how it, you know it's not a tremendous rain shower or anything like that but it's still We'll give it a, a quick douse with some water here for a few minutes and then we'll see if we got any leaks. Gives you an idea of how it handles a heavy downpour I guess or maybe not a real heavy downpour but something. It's not sagging too much. All right, so I'm gonna run this for a few minutes, give it a good dousing, and then we'll check it for leaks. And so far, I'm not seeing any any leaks or drips. I'll go back through, double check one more time, but I think it, I think my seam seal's all right. If it did drip, it was very little, but I don't think it dripped at all that I could see. So that's it. That's a little bit of a rain test or semi rain test on the uh, Xenon tarp in the dark olive color. So I'll get it all rolled up and once it dries good, I'll get it rolled up with a, a Zingit ridge line and weigh it. And we'll see what the weight comes out to. And I'll post that uh, here on the video down below and let y'all know what it weighs. Again, that's a 12-foot ridge line, 10-foot width, uh, Xenon tarp, Xenon 0.9 from Dutch. Hope you all enjoyed, and hope you found it helpful. Thanks a lot for watching. See ya.